Hi, garden rebels. Notice the days are getting longer. We're having little pouts, bouts of sunshine and we're getting outside a little bit more. And that's causing us to get ask us, ask the big question. And that big question is, can we plant now? I want to answer that question and all the particular details coming up. plants now and that's a huge question it's my number one question for the last two weeks by the way can you plant meaning can we go out and plant our garden vegetables yes you can to a limited degree and that means you want to plant what we call the coal crops I used to think cold crops it's actually coal crops which kind of means in the latin -y term a stem plant which really means it's in the cabbage family mustard family and yes you can plant cabbage now yes you can plant lettuces now yes you can plant Brussels sprouts now. You can plant snap peas. These are all veggies that love that cooler temperatures. And you want to start them now because as it gets too hot, that's when they're finished. The one big issue though is you want to protect them from actual physical frost. So if we're going to have a frosty night, and I can see in our forecast the next 10 days, we don't have any frost. But if we do have that frost, we want to cover it with something light. And I'm saying you can cover it with a newspaper type lightness. I know we don't have any newspapers anymore. And yes, a piece of plastic, a piece of blanket, an old towel, and that will get you through the night. Phew! Can we plant our annuals now? And sometimes that's the big question. I want to plant our hanging baskets. And believe it or not, we do have some annuals out, but they're in a nice warm greenhouse. All the plants that make baskets look colorful like this I showed you last week. Make sure you pre-order those. Those are really getting down to the fine last minute now. You want to hold tight on that and you probably won't find some annuals. Though I have seen people go out and plant impatience, which really are the last plant on earth you want to plant. The real, real question is can we plant now? Meaning, is there something we can plant just to satisfy our urge to be outside, our urge to get our fingers into the soil, our urge to grow something, our urge to not look at an old, ugly, empty pot? And that is yes. There are lots of options. Take a look at this little cute guy. Now this is just something if you want to do a small little container. This is a Camisipris Lawsoniana. It's called Elwood Eye. Trim this any which way you like. And it's very, very simple. Take something from the green section. I've added a little Korean rock fern like this. Add in a little viola like that. One, two, three and you have a nice planted container. It will help satisfy that urge to get out and plant. And this is something that will last a long, long, long time. You will only have to replace your violas when the temperatures get up really, really high. <coughs> high. Not sure where that came from when the temperatures get really, really high. And just to squeeze it in, here are a few more ideas on how to get your creative juices flowing 
to plant your pot. I'm just gonna show you two quick examples because we'll go into this next week really well. Hebe variegata, this is a very bright yellow. I've chose something from the red section. This is Heuchera Forever Red. And I've chosen something from the green section. This is Hebe Imposter. One, two, three, makes for a great container. Add in a little bit of color. Add in a little bit of dangling. And you've got a container ready made. And just another short example is a lot of people enjoy the blue coloring. This is Andromeda Polyfolia Blue Ice. It has little pink blooms that come out later on during the springtime. I've paired it with the Senecio Angel Wings. Really can give you that silver white. Silver white and blue work really well together add in a little bit of green to this. Pieris, this is a small compact guy called Prelude. It's going to come out with these white pink blooms. Add in a little bit of trailing and blue flowers to mix in with that blue foliage and voila. A nice easy mixture that will last all season long. And notice I've left pockets here that we can add in a lot of color. We can add pansies in now, and later on we can change that out for some summer annuals. Guys, that's the tips and tricks for this week. Always live your passion. Planting is good for the soul.